Hello and welcome to our tutorial video on handling payments in ESC. Please note that if you are integrated with QuickBooks or Peachtree, you will not have access to any of the screens displayed in this tutorial, as any accounts receivable functions should be handled in your dedicated accounting software. Before we get started, let's cover how to create and manage your payment methods. The Payment Methods screen is used to configure existing payment methods or add additional methods to process payments through the receivables and sales invoicing modules. You can access the Payment Methods screen by navigating to Receivables and Payment Methods. You'll notice that by default, ESC includes the following payment methods Cash, Check, American Express, Visa, MasterCard, Credit, and Trade Discount. All of the physical payment methods such as cash, checks, and credit cards will be assigned by default to ESC's undeposited funds account. The credit payment method, which is the method that you will typically use to issue a credit to a customer, is by default set to post to your sales account. Also notice that your Trade Discounts account is set to post to your Trade Discounts General Ledger account. Now that you have seen the general information provided by this screen, let's create a new payment method. To create a new method, you will simply click the Add New button in the upper left-hand corner of the Payment Method screen. A new window will pop up, prompting you for Payment Method, Description, Account Number, and Type. First, we will want to fill in the field for Payment Method. This is what will appear in your Payment Method menus when tendering payments in either the receivables or sales invoicing modules. For this example, we'll call our payment method Discover. Once we have that entered into the payment method field, the next step is to give this method a description. The description field is provided to give you the ability to further detail the payment method that you've created. You can put anything you would like here, but because our payment method is named Discover and is already pretty self-explanatory, we will enter Discover in our description field as well. Following this, we move on to the account number field. Here we will designate the account that is debited when a payment is tendered using this payment method. Typically, you will want to assign this to your undeposited funds account, though you could assign this payment method to another general ledger account if you wish. We will use the undeposited funds account in this example. Bear in mind that we are using the default account numbers and names assigned by ESC. If your ESC chart of accounts does not have the same numbering scheme as what is shown here in the tutorial, it will not affect how the payment methods are handled in your general ledger. Finally, we will select the type of the payment method. The type field simply defines what information ESC will prompt you for when processing this payment. The options here are cash, check, charge card, credit, and trade discount. Selecting the cash type will simply prompt the tendering user for a deposit number. The check type will ask the user for a check number and a deposit number, and a payment method using a charge card type will prompt the user for the credit card number, the name on the card, the expiration date, and the authorization number of the card. If you are integrated with one of our merchant services partners, you will additionally be given the option to process the credit card through ESC when using the charge card type. The remaining two payment types, credit and trade discounts, are not usable in the sales invoicing module and can only be used in the inner payments and inner prepayment screen in the receivables module. With that said, we will select the charge card type for our Discover payment method. To confirm the changes, simply click the OK button. This returns us to the payment method screen, and you'll notice that our new payment method has been successfully added to the system. Now let's see how to accept payments using the various payment methods that we have available in the program. You will be able to access the inner payment screen by navigating to receivables and inner payments, or optionally by pressing the F11 key. To start, we will first select a customer record that we wish to receive a payment for. Once we have a customer selected, ESC will pull up the records for any outstanding invoices that have not yet been paid. Something special to note here is that invoices that you have placed on hold will not appear in this screen as invoices that are eligible for payment. The advantage of using this screen versus tendering payments directly on invoices is that it allows you to apply a single payment towards multiple invoices at a time. Our customer in this example has several invoices on their account that need to be paid. 
In order to apply payment to these outstanding invoices, we have a couple of options. In order to pay a specific invoice, you can simply click the Pay checkbox, and ESC will automatically calculate the total amount of the payment being made. At this point, all you have to do is double check the date that you're receiving the payment in the date field and select the payment method that the payment was made with. Once that is complete, simply save the transaction, which will lock in the customer's payment. Let's look at another example using the same customer. What if the customer gives us a lump sum payment to pay off a portion of their outstanding balance? How do we handle that? Just like before, we'll pull up our customer account, only this time, instead of checking off the pay box to designate the specific invoice that we will apply the payment to, we can simply select our payment method and then key in the total amount of the payment that the customer gave us. When we enter this payment, ESC will automatically apply the payment to the outstanding invoices starting in order from the oldest invoice to the newest. Now that we have covered how to apply a payment received from a customer, let's cover how to apply a credit on a customer's account if you have issued them a credit memo. Notice that the customer that we have been working with has what looks like a negative dollar value associated to an invoice in our payment screen. Note that ESC won't automatically apply an outstanding credit to a customer's account. So in order to apply the credit, simply check the pay box for the credit memo and then check the pay box for the invoice that we wish to apply the credit to. At some point, you may also find it necessary to cancel a payment or credit that has been made to a customer's account you will be able to access the Cancel Payments and Credit screen from the Receivables menu. In order to cancel a customer payment, we simply need to select our customer, and if they have any payments or credits that have been applied to their account through the Enter Payment screen in Receivables, we will see them here. On the left are our tendered payments, and on the right are our credits. To remove a tendered payment, simply select the payment in the list and click Cancel Selected Check. Though this button says Checks, this field will be used for all tendered payments, whether they are cash, checks, or credit cards. When canceling a credit, the process is almost identical, except here ESC displays not only the credit that we selected, but also the invoice that the credit was applied to. When canceling a credit, make sure that you have not only selected and canceled the credit itself, but the invoice that it was applied to as well. This will ensure the accuracy of your financial records. This concludes our video tutorial on handling payments in ESC. Thank you for watching.